Hello, welcome back. My name's Matthew. We're going to be playing a little more Priest. Let's just uh, get in on it. Last game was versus a Druid. The game before that versus a Priest. I would really like to face some aggro, because that's what I'm trying to counter with this deck. I want to know if it's working or not. It's possible that the deck is terrible. I hope we'll find out soon. Warrior. All right, another control match. Uh, I think my strategy here is going to have to be overwhelm him, force him to use his board clears inefficiently, and cycle through my deck as quick as I can. I don't think there's any way to win against the warrior in the long game. Now, I don't think I want to hold on to the auctioneer. It will be very important later. I think what I need are my Resurrects and my Blade Masters. Okay, well, this is not a particularly workable hand. We'll see what else we draw, though. Hey, another card I can't play. It's not looking good. Hopefully his hand is just as slow. Alright, it is a Dragon Warrior. This is bad news for me. I'm gonna have to coin this out next turn, I think. I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble pretty quickly. Alright. With the Pyromancer drawn, I don't think I am going to coin. I think instead I'm just going to heal and pass as Priest does. And hopefully I'll be able to come back through AoEs and heals. Alright, that's unusual. I don't think that belongs in Dragon Warrior. Very strange. I think I am just going to Shadow Word Pain this. It sets up really nicely to later play the Twilight Summoner and then resurrect it twice if I can. Okay, here comes the damage. Is... Well, that's pretty helpful. I'm gonna have to forego my Onyx Bishop Resurrect the Twilight Summoner plan because this clear is too good not to take. Crucially, I am above 15 health, so I've got a little bit of leeway before he can play his 9-9. Unfortunately, with his 3-3 on the field, that means that he can do so next turn. I think we're going to set up for another long-term play. Because next turn I'll be able to Gadget Zan plus Holy Smite this. I'm assuming he trades it into my summoner. He, no, he's not going to. Okay. Well, I'm dying pretty quickly here. So, what are my options? I don't really want to entomb this uh, dragon. I don't have any dragons myself, so it's never going to be a taunt for me. Um, if I Onyx Bishop, I will 
get either this or the Yeah, okay. I think that's reasonable. Okay. Can't be too unhappy with that. If I can survive just a couple more turns, I should be able to swing this board entirely in my favor. Okay, if he goes face, I'm a little bit scared. Oh good, he's doing some trades. That is very good for me. I think I'm just going to go for the clear here. Okay. Varian might be worth the entomb. Ooh. That's interesting. Is there anything else in his deck that I would want to entomb? I think the only thing that could be better would be Ysera. And I think that is pretty likely, so... Alright, I'll use the Shadow Word Death. I'll do it before this, just in case I get the Wild Pyro back. don't really want to take extra damage on my 5-5. Five five. Okay. Wow, this and Zoth is going to be quite strong next turn. Alright. I have to start thinking about whether or not he can kill me. If he's running Grom, it's, uh, suppose he has some way to enrage it, like Slam or a Whirlwind of some kind. It's 10, 14, 17 damage. Alright, so if I use this this turn, then he won't be able to kill me. So that means I'm not going to end this off. So I'm going to draw some cards instead. Oh, well, maybe that's not a good play. 16 cards. Even if he does run Grom, it's only 50-50 he even has it. And then he also has to have a way to enrage it. So I don't think I'm going to play around it. I think it's just too good to play in Zoth here. I'm going to trade this off because I don't want it to win the brawl. Ooh, convert. That's pretty scary. Getting his own and Zoth. All he's going to get back is a Sylvanas, but that's still pretty good for him. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to entomb that so he doesn't get it back. I also have to kill everything, and I have to heal myself. doesn't give me a whole lot of options. I would prefer not popping these in case of the brawl, but I think I'm going to have to. Alright, 
if he doesn't have the Brawl, and if he doesn't have the Grom Lethal, then I think we're gonna win. Okay. Plenty of monkeys. Versus plenty more Faceless Destroyers. It's time to draw some cards. Fantastic. Alright. I'm not too afraid of AoEs other than Brawl, so I'm okay with this taking damage. I want to keep this alive so that he has to uh, use a weapon charge on it if he's going to clear it. He probably does not run Revenge, which is why I'm totally fine bringing him below 12 health. Well, looks like I was wrong. He killed his own Ravaging Ghoul, though, which is a little bit silly. Okay, one Auctioneer down, but that's good game. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Probably is just control. Based. I'll keep the Entomb, only have one deck, and it's pretty decent versus Priest. That all of these minions have four attack really limits his options. And that's the perfect target for an Entomb. Alright, I'm sorry, Dr. Feud, but I'll be taking that now. <laughs>